All clear. Hey, this is Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, and guess who I got with me today? Go ahead, honey. Firecracker on two wheels. So, uh, this might be our first official attempt at a dual vlog. We've uh, tested the car a little bit to make sure I thought I had a decent setup, and uh, April's riding with her new full face icon helmet. Uh, so, we won't show, hopefully, don't have too much wind noise. Talk to me, baby. Yeah? Can you hear me? Are you, are you, I can hear you. I get a little wind noise when you talk. How do you like in that new helmet? It's all right. It's all right. You're still not a fan of full face helmets. You got to get used to it. Yeah. They're always really tight when you first get them, too, and that takes a little breaking in for them to get a little more comfortable. But uh, I think it'll be good when we're out riding together like this, each on our own bike, and we can talk with the Cardos. So I think we're going to... We just left Rolla. We're heading east on 10th street this is a, a fun road to ride there's a couple of 90s in here and a couple of hard turns and it's pretty scenic and we're gonna head out toward cuba and see if we can get some barbecue for lunch today we did a bike show yesterday and i did my first moto vlog in quite a while yesterday and of course uh, that one we were riding two up on here and i did a uh, helmetless moto vlog which I I'm able to do on this street glide thanks to this clockworks windshield I it actually works really well and I do uh, I think comes out really well for not having a helmet my moto vlogs there if you if you haven't uh, ever seen anybody moto vlog without a helmet check out this video right here and uh, tell me how good or bad you think it is so yeah for April's birthday she got this new icon helmet I'll flash some shots of it up on the screen here it's a purple and green kind of a chameleon deal like some of the paint jobs on the new 2021 20, Harley Davidson's are where it changes colors I think it looked really good with that purple and green paint job you saw on those bikes yesterday at Lake Ozark Harley Davidson what do you think honey yeah it match right in too bad they don't have that paint job available on a sport glide so they did have a sport glide in there if anybody's got 20 grand they want to get rid of, you let Firecracker know because she'd love to have a new Sport Glide. But uh, until you guys all start subscribing to her channel and she starts putting out more videos and stuff, uh, she ain't got a way to pay for it just yet. She, she got a new vehicle a couple years ago and she got a payment on that thing still. So, but we'll uh, we'll be watching here in a year or two for her used one. Maybe we can uh, pick one up then, but it won't have that pretty purple and green chameleon paint job she likes they had it on a road king and a sportster but uh she she wasn't definitely wasn't interested in the sportster and uh the road king was a little more money you know than the sport glide so she said she'd just soon have the sport glide i don't think she wants to go to a full bagger kind of setup the sport glide really being in between seems like that's be a great fit for her we're just gonna have to figure out how we're gonna pay for it pretty nice day out here today in the Ozarks we're cruising along temperature says it's about 83 right now I've uh, I had get a lot of people question and ask uh, what helmet I'm running because uh, it's not your typical street helmet I'm running a, a Bell Adventure helmet um, I'll throw the exact model up here on the screen but I think it's the Adventure MX with um, MX MX-9 maybe I don't, I'll just have to throw it up on the screen but it's got the MIPS in it but I bought this for riding the DR650 but I don't you know wear a street helmet all the time so I figure when I'm riding on the street I'll just wear this same helmet I kind of like it it's got a, a good opening around the chin so I get air up through there I've taped off the vents so I don't get a lot of air noise for moto vlogging but I do get air lightly up underneath the chin and up through there and stuff and it helps me stay cool and I don't feel like I'm as enclosed in this helmet as I do some others I think because it's designed for goggles that the viewing area through the visor area is bigger and uh, that that makes I like that too I don't like having my vision restricted so here's one of these uh, good turns to the right here hon Firecracker's a little bashful still. I can't even get her to talk on the cardo. I can barely hear you. You can barely hear me? Okay. Um, uh, 
I forgot to put my antenna out. I just put my antenna I don't antenna. know if it's because my bike is louder, you know. It could be you have a loud bike. Uh, I also just flipped my antenna out, so I don't know if that'll help any. I rolled you up to max volume. But yeah, her uh, her twin cam 88 Dyna is uh, got short exhaust on it, and her bike is a lot louder than my bike. My 103 with uh, long True Duels on it's uh, not quite as um, obnoxious. We got a mailman up here. I see that. And that's the kind of thing we why I wanted the Cardos. If there was something in the road or something I needed to warn her about, I can give her a heads up, give her more reaction time. So uh, that's kind of a. I'd actually ordered a set of Bluetooth headset units right before April had her accident last year, but they hadn't come in yet. Uh, not that that would have stopped it from happening, but I would have known a lot sooner she had an accident. That's for sure, because I'd have heard her in my ear right away. So. That's another reason when we are uh, riding like this. Uh, she likes to ride in the back. She don't want to ride in front. So having the Cardos make me feel more comfortable about knowing how she's doing back there. Because I know if she gets into trouble, she's going to let me know. Whether it's the bike, you know, runs out of gas or, you know, uh, something doesn't sound right or feel right or whatever. Or dog runs out in the road in front of her. We've had that not too long ago out here on that same road. Hopefully that little bastard's not out here today. If he is, I'm gonna go buy me a can of wasp spray. Take a few laps past him. Did you happen to bring my buttons for my bike? Um, if they weren't in the side saddlebag when you opened it, then that means they're still at the house. I probably didn't. I didn't. Take that room for them. I didn't look at them. I figured you'd know if you grabbed them for me. Well, I, have, I, was gonna, I had a bunch of stuff out because I thought we were going to take the truck up this morning, and uh, so I don't know if I packed it in the bike when I decided to just bring one. All up. right. But if not, we'll go by and get them this afternoon and uh, put them on. I still got to go to my house anyway. Here's this good 90 degree turn here. Bring her back down. This one's pretty sharp. I've dragged uh, foot pegs in this one once in a while, or floorboards. No, I don't have foot pegs, I got floorboards, but. What sounds good for lunch, honey? You gonna have ribs? I don't know. You got all the good ribs there, don't they? Yeah, all their food's good. Low battery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to charge the cardo back up. We'll, uh, we may have to finish this moto vlog. I didn't charge my cardo before it took off today, and now it's giving me a low battery warning. So, we may just have to, uh, pick this back up after we eat, where I have a chance to, uh, let the cardo charge while we're eating. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and sign off here for the moment. And hard turn, honey. Yeah, I see it. Trying. Uh, we'll uh, pick you guys back up on the dual vlog after uh, we get something to get to the stop to eat. A little longer than a few minutes later. Man, I am stuffed. That barbecue is awesome. Oh, never go away hungry when I leave Missouri Hick. There's always enough food. But then, of course, I order a two meat platter with the fixings. It's a good time. Rolling down in here to the floating capital of Missouri, Stillville, Missouri. There's a river right here in front of us. There's uh, campgrounds all around this area, up and down this river. There's resorts where you can stay and camp or uh, just come down and uh, pay them to take care of you upriver and put you in and float back down if you don't want to spend the night and stuff. Can't really see it real well, but try to get you a shot of it. Uh, 
Uh, but yep, Steelville's known as the floating capital of Missouri. And uh, up here on the left is the rafting company. There are resorts all up and down through here, places to camp. You can bring your camper. Some of them have cabins uh, or you can tent camp. There's more back up that road there. That's the old highway. Stretch of it. So, yeah, that was a good lunch, man. You guys got a favorite barbecue joint in your neighborhood that's a nice ride to go to for lunch? If so, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know your favorite bar barbecue joint and what where it's at, what city and state. That way, if I'm passing through, I can look it up. We'll share the good barbecue locations with everybody else on the channel. All right, guys. Well, we've had a good ride. We're going to head back toward the house. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, make sure you share it out. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. As always, thank you for your support. Stay safe and keep on riding.